I'm blinded now. All right, thank you very much. Um, yeah, great introduction there. I uh, hate crime and discrimination. It is, it is a big problem. Um, I'm just going to go, I've got a few slides, but I'm going to talk about you about some various different things. So when we look at it, uh, why is it important to make our society more inclusive and accepting of our ever-changing diverse society? Now, we have got a diverse society, and it's really good that we do, because everybody brings a little bit of something that we need. But hate crime is on the rise, and it's been rising steadily since about 2016. Reported hate crime. Um, and I'm going to give you some statistics around that. But a lot of that comes from our own values, our own opinions, our own beliefs. And um, that is our unconscious bias, which I'll dig into a little bit more as, as we go along. So most people don't think we have a problem with discrimination in the UK. Well, they didn't. Some people are more awake to it now than not. Uh, hands up if you think we have a problem. Not that I can see any hands. Hey, got a right group of people here. And we, and we certainly do. Now, I'll tell you a little story. I was delivering some mental health training in a private hospital in the middle of London um, in about late 2018. And we touched on some various different mental health disorder. There was about 12 delegates in the room and uh, I touched on gender dysphoria. To be met with a response from one of the delegates, there's your sick in the head. Now, for those of you who may not be too sure what gender dysphoria is, it's people who identify as the opposite gender to what they were given at birth. So the opposite sex they were given at birth, so transgender individuals. Now, you can imagine my head doing a 50 million mile an hour spin, and it felt like forever as I was trying to make a decision. How do I tackle this? I can't leave that sat there. This person is caring for some of our very vulnerable individuals in our society. So I asked that individual if she thought I was sick in the head. To which she responded, no, why? So I said, well, I'm transgender. I was born female. I've transitioned to be male. To which most of the rest of the room, especially the guys, went, no way. Prove it. <laughs> uh, I didn't go to prove it. Um, I didn't go that far. But it wasn't about embarrassing that person. It was making that person understand that we've got to be careful about what we say and who we say it to. That person herself covered three of our protected characteristics. Now, after that training session, we got that all done and dusted. I'm travelling back from London in the car. Obviously, you can imagine, M25, lots of time to think. And... Uh, I'm thinking, what can I do about this? That's one person out of 12. How many millions of people are in our health and social care settings? How many more people have those views? We've obviously got a problem. Because everybody who works in health and social care, if you have, then you'll understand. But we all have to have equality diversity training. Well, it's obviously not enough if we've got people with those views. Now, unfortunately, that came from her values and her opinions which is fine, we are entitled to them, but not at the detriment of anybody else. This Home Office Hate Crimes England and Wales 2018, I have got the latest stats for 21-22. Um, but if we go back to 2016, the Home Office did admit that after the Brexit referendum, our reported hate crimes increased. There was a massive spike. I'll let you put the two and two together there with that one. So what is a hate crime? Any criminal offence which is perceived by the victim or any other person to be motivated by hostility or, hostility or prejudice based on a, a personal characteristic. These are our latest figures. There's a 26% rise on the previous year. Race, 109,843 reported hate crimes. Religion, 8,073, 733. Sexual orientation, over 26,000. Disability, 14,242. And against transgender, 4,355. In one year, 
And they're the ones we know about in England and Wales. So we can see we've got a massive problem and it's rising. But how do we move, I don't want this to be all about negativity, I mean, how do we move this forward? We've got to stop things like this, what we see in the media. That is an old media hype, one in five Brit Muslims sympathy for the jihads. It's those sort of things that gives people their values and their opinions. And what I want people to do is challenge where they get those opinions from. Challenge why you think a certain way. Where did you get that information from? Was it a film? Was it the newspaper? Was it Facebook? Because if it's on Facebook, it's got to be true. Yeah? Where have we got that information from? Where's our facts? One of the things I use a lot when I come around unconscious bias is I use it a lot in my training. So, does anybody here like to people watch? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So imagine you sat outside your favourite coffee shop with your friend, your partner, a colleague. You know, um, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, nice sunny day. Two people walk past you. One of them's unsteady on the feet and slurring the words. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. What's your unconscious bias going to say? Most of the time people say they're drunk. Well, they're not. They could have cerebral palsy. So where is the, you know, the fact on that? Think about the times you've made a judgment on somebody you've seen. Don't know them. They're behaving in a certain way. Have we made a judgment on it? Probably. We all have, because we all have unconscious bias. It's about recognising that unconscious bias. We saw a lot of this over, over lockdown. Spread love, not hate. We can do that in a lot of ways. And we can make ourselves more culturally aware and more aware of other people's diversity. We can educate ourselves. We can look into things that we're not sure of. Sometimes hate crime comes out of fear and lack of education. Sometimes it's out of ignorance. There's lots of reasons why people spread and commit hate crime. But having experienced it myself, and not necessarily because of my transgender um, situation, I actually got more hate identifying as a gay woman, and especially in women's toilets, out in the public. It doesn't matter where we come from, what we are, what we believe in, if we follow a faith or if we don't. People are people. And we need people for this world to function. And to move forward, we've got to stop looking at the differences in people and accepting the skills that they've got. What knowledge have they got? and challenge our own unconscious bias. One of mine is typically, I do a lot of travelling for my job, he's on the motorway. Range Rovers, BMWs and Audi drivers don't know how to use their indicators. And, you know, that's just from my experience on motorways. But I wouldn't say to somebody, you drive like a lunatic because you drive a Range Rover. That's just my, in my car, range, you know, road rage. But it doesn't mean to say I'm not going to be friends with somebody who drives one of those cars just because I've experienced some bad drivers in those cars. You know, I have a friend who is religious. I'm not religious. One little bit. I was christened. I went to Sunday school. And I got to about eight or nine. I went, nah, that's not for me. And he is religious. And we'll have conversations. And we'll get to a point where we'll go, we'll agree to disagree. Shall we have another pint? You know, and it doesn't affect our friendship. Because we know... That, that doesn't, his religion doesn't define him and my lack of religion doesn't define me. It's just the way it is. And accept people, embrace people for who they are, what they can teach us. And if we can do that, we can move forward. 
And we can all live together in harmony. And for me, I think it is just a case of let's create a society where everyone feels safe. And that's the aim, whether or not we're just walking down the street, whether or not we're in one of our care services, whether that's the NHS, residential home, supported accommodation or anything. Let's create that society where people aren't afraid to be who they want to be. And with that in mind, if we can move forward with that, the world will be a better place, not only for us, but for our children and our grandchildren and going forward. Thank you very much. <laughs>